Well, it's moving day here. My buddy Eric's bringing the Fairmont A4 car that's been hibernating for seven years in the shed back to his shop in Southern Ohio to get her back on the rails next year. So we are in the process of loading this thing up with two guys and let's see how this goes. Ooh. There it is. Seven years and two days. <laughs> it's like a little mini time capsule. Yeah, it really is. And I've only uh, even been into this shed probably a dozen times. I don't come in there, go in there very often. I don't keep anything in there. It's just sad being your bike's in there. I mean, you're not using your bike. Yeah, I haven't ridden it for a couple years at least, but I used to, when I was riding it, I'd just keep it in the garage. Don't stop that. Okay. I was thinking it was in the neighborhood of like 3,500 pounds or 4,000 pounds. I've always quoted it at 35. Yeah. But of course you're not lifting it, you're pulling it. And this thing's rated, this is rated for 2,000 pounds. So I don't know, I might have to get a hand winch assist. We'll yeah. see. power source for the winch wasn't working so we had to do a little Perry County engineering here No. You come running out of there? I'm gonna put about 50 traps in this thing. All right, now we might need to move that one, one thing down so it's butted up against it. You think that, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, and then what do you think about putting that jack on it and jacking it up, you know, two inches. I don't think we need to. Let's just see what happens here. Okay. It, it might be all right. It'll be good. I don't know what it's going to do when it starts spinning just a little bit, but. We're going to find out, aren't we? Yes, we are. That's a chance. Mm. I, I just stopped. Oh, you did? Oh, I thought pause. it was bogging it. I think yeah. we're good. Go ahead and pause it for a second. Yep. I, I'm just letting it cool off for a second. All right, back at it. Check the top. We're good. I don't know about the, the strobe light. Let me, let me hop up here real quick and look. I don't even know if the strobe light's still on it. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna clear it just with minimal. Minimal clearing? I believe so. We'll, we'll watch it. Yeah, watch it when it gets closer.
Let me hop up there again real quick. Oh yeah, we got we got a good inch or two. Oh yeah, it's gonna drop right now. This way, if I can. Uh, the, this is the back. Well, that's what I mean. This, yeah, we can just pull that um, bar out, and then we'll both. Oh, that's right. We, this bar comes out. Yeah. All right. Let me get up there with you, and we'll nudge it over. I'm going. You're gonna try to get the center of mass over the wheels? Uh, yeah, because I can put the pin uh, up here. Oh shit. Did I die? No, I came too far. Oh. Um, well, we can shove it from here. So I, well, I need to. What do I need to do? I can put the brakes on on the train cart. You can let it. Yeah, we need to. Uh, yeah, we need to um, put the brakes on. Gosh, there's a family of mice. One just ran out under the trailer, one's still running around in there. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't chew any vital components up. Wiring. Get the strap strap down. At least chained on there for now, and then we're gonna run a bunch of straps all over it. This is just to prevent the prevent it from rolling anywhere. Well, there it is, Fairmont A4. I believe that model's from like the early seven or early 80s, I mean, late 70s, early 80s. We looked it up one time, it's like an 81 or 82. But it's a big boy, that is a big boy toy. About somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,500 pounds. So, unless you have like a winch set up, and a couple dudes, you're not moving that thing by hand. So usually when we do those Narcoa runs, you know, there'll be four or five of us. It's not too bad to muscle butt around with that, but... this thing strapped down better go ahead and pull it all the way up towards towards the garage there we go well got her all strapped down so the curtains so these bars lock into place there and those zip down they need good scrubbing the other side we didn't get the curtains installed properly so we gotta strap that up there so it doesn't blow in the wind and then this is uh, Eric's pig, pig roaster from back in the day I'm giving that back to him to take home Yeah, this just need a little plastic cleaner to clean up. Those are the sanders. 
Yeah, I've got a couple videos on this thing. If you just search my name and um, type in Fairmont rail car or Fairmont A4, I get a, a couple rundowns about how, how this thing operates. And next, probably next spring, next summer, we'll have it out on the rail. And I will, oops, I will definitely be making videos of that on our adventures wherever we go. That's it. Going back down to Southern Ohio for a while. Been here seven years and two days. And we're gonna follow him up to the top of the hill here. Make sure nothing's shifting around or he's got his pig roaster. He's taking that back with him. But yeah, hopefully this thing will be on the hopefully this will be on the rails next year. That'll make for some pretty cool videos riding that thing around. Just gonna follow him up to the top of the hill here and Double check, make sure nothing starts shifting on them. Fairmont A4 leaving Medina, Ohio after seven years and two days. Looks like everything's riding pretty good on there. Where I'm peeling off.